All right, so we got this little three horse Briggs and Stratton here, and it's attached to a McCullough H1500 portable gen set, 1500 watts. If we can get this thing going, it should be a pretty handy little unit. So let's go ahead and start checking her over. Let's see if she pulls over. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. All right. Well, I guess we better address that first. So let's get the cover off of here. I wonder if the starter clutch is just sticking. Kind of noisy in the neighborhood this morning. They're moving a lot of grain. Oh. All right. I wonder what we're going to find. I wonder if the starter clutch is just stuck or what. Hopefully, that's all it is. Okay. Well, that thing springs back. Okay, that shouldn't be. That thing ought to roll free. I wonder if the starter clutch isn't froze up on it. what it's looking like. If one of my umpteen sockets here would be the right one. That would be nice. <laughs> there we go. There's the one. Man, I'm just not coordinated at all this morning. Not at all. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Oh, man, I didn't even see that. Somebody's been in here. Look at that fin broke off. This is an aluminum flywheel. Oh, okay, and it gets worse. There's a chunk missing. Yep. Because I could see somebody's been in here prying. You can see how this cover's messed up. Yep, multiple places. It's broke right there. Somebody's definitely been in here. Oh. to think that whatever we're going to find may not be good. We already got a broke flywheel. Alright All right, guys, I'm going to need two hands to get the starter clutch off of here. I'll bring you back here in a minute. All right. Well, somebody's obviously boogered this thing up big time. You can see here where they whacked on it. This is off. Flywheel's loose. Somebody's definitely been in here. This guy is stuck on this crankshaft like nobody's business. So it's time to apply a little heat. I don't like doing this, especially not on a crankshaft, but on this one, I think I'm going to have to. 
So we're just going to give her a little heat, see if it won't come off. Now. I don't like that. I don't like the way that's turning the colors. Might just be oil or whatever, but I, don't, I still don't like it. Oh, all right, well, I've been at it for about a half hour now. We're making progress, but man, is it slow but steady coming off of there. That thing was really, really stuck on there bad. Somebody had to hammer that thing hard. So I'm using a, I'm using my vice grips a little bit. I did throw a little more heat at it because it was just oil coming out of there. I've been throwing a little bit of lubricant in there. So hopefully we get this thing off of here soon. <sighs> All right, guys, more headway. Still fighting though. You can see behind there where it's definitely getting into the crankshaft from spinning on there. Looks like it's galled to the crankshaft. This is a new one for me. Never had this before. Oh, finally, finally got that thing off there. Oh, man. It was definitely, you can feel right there on the end of the crankshaft where it's mushroomed. Somebody whacked on that crankshaft with a hammer and hammered that thing on there. Oh, all right. Well, I guess since we're here, flywheel's already loose. We might as well have a look and see if there's some points behind there. And if there is, we'll go ahead and clean them while we're in here. I haven't even got to check to see if there was spark or not, but might as well do it while we're in here. Oh, man. That was quite the workout, guys. Dang. All right. No points. She's a magnetron. Looks like it might have had points at one time, though. So, all right. I'm not going to try to put any money into this thing until I see if it actually runs or not. So we're going to try to use this flywheel. However, I wouldn't recommend using anything with a chunk that big missing out of it. Wouldn't recommend that. Hopefully, if it does run, it doesn't come flying apart in my face. So, you know what, let's leave that off. We're going to have to definitely clean this crank up a little bit. we go find some sandpaper. I found it. Let's just set that over here for safekeeping. Okay, back to sanding. Feels a little better. Get some of that junk out of there. Really? Not even close. I don't know if that starter clutch cone is going to work. Don't know. I might have to go borrow one off another piece of equipment. I have tiller in there with a three or five horse on it. It'd probably work. Well, guys, let this be a lesson to you, as it is to me. Take your time when you work on things. And if you're going to put her back together, put her back together the right way. Don't force things. Don't hammer them. Don't beat on them. You know, all that fun stuff. Because you never know. The next guy that's got to fix it 
might be you. Alright, well, after a lot of sanding and playing back and forth, looky there. Spins on there nice and free. Doesn't spin the crank. I think we're ready to go back together with this thing. Maybe actually make some progress today. Alright. Oh, let's turn that over. Hands are all oily, man. Come on, baby, roll over. There we go. Get that flywheel key. Keys in. Put our little flywheel back on. Okay, let's see here. Is that bent? That'll be. Oh. Oh, I see what it is. side. I don't want to be on the magnet side trying to line that up. This flywheel is just going to want to hit the hit the magnet. You have to forgive me. I just sprayed myself. What is going on over there? Chickens. Goofy chickens. I just sprayed myself in the eyeballs with a carb cleaner a little bit ago, so everything's kind of blurry. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to put all the ball bearings back in this starter clutch housing, put it back together. Good thing I set them over here where they're not going to go away. I better get all that old oil out of there first. Let me see if I can spray myself in the eyeballs with card cleaner again. I'm just having one heck of a morning, guys. It's just incredible out here today. I'm telling you. Batting a thousand. good note the carb cleaner seems to have cleaned out my sinuses because I just got crap coming out everywhere oh. all right now we need to put a little bit of oil in here to lube the starter clutch up hopefully I don't do well um, I'm just gonna pour some in the cap and then put it in there because my hands ain't good you probably see me shaking right there. Yeah, that'll do it. sinuses man that carb cleaner just cleans them right out the next time i got a sinus infection i guess i'll spray myself in the face with carb cleaner all right. oh, she's going together nice kind of like it should have been put back together the first time All right, back to the point of needing two hands. All right, now that we got that all back assembled, just wanted to show you guys. Free one way. There we go. 
So that's working properly. We're gonna put our cover back on and then we'll move forward. Okay, well, anybody out there that thinks I staged this stuff, I'm, I'm gonna prove it to you right now because I had that cover back on and I was getting ready to move forward and then I looked down and I see that in my carb cleaner induced haze, I forgot this spring washer that goes behind between the starter clutch and the flywheel. So now I gotta take it all back apart. So I'll bring you guys back after I get that done. All right, cover's back on. I think it's time to see if we actually fix anything. Oh man, wheels over nice now, almost like it's supposed to. Has it got any oil in it? Oh, that tube feels really weird. Goofy chickens. Full and clean. Can't beat that. Fuel. Not even anything in there. Nice and clean. All right. I guess maybe I ought to go get some gasoline put in there then. And uh, we'll see if it'll fall off fire over, guys. Okay, guys, so like I had on the uh, beginning of this video, my phone lost some of the videos, um, but I was able to find some and save some. Some of the video that was lost was the first start of this engine and me running it. So I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and just run it and add this clip in there so you guys can see and hear that it does run and does make power. Um, I know that sucks. I'm trying to make it so that doesn't happen again. But anyway, here we go. All right, so I've got gas in it. It's got oil. Pull the choke. All right, we're on low idle. Here we go. Alright guys, that's going to about wrap up this video here. Very dang, God bless.